Okay, welcome everyone. As we welcome in Stephen Holtzman, Ben Sien Komen, Achim Mansky, it's Fuchs, Dr. Udell, Irving Fishbaum, Marshall Castle, Dr. Guy, Mel Zachter, Shimon Klein, Mark Frankel, Ruben Pollock, Shalom Fogel, Shelley Zeitlin, Jay Siegel, Nachman Chapler, Rabbi Kranz, Mordechai Sultan, Moshe Lehman, Ilya Schutman, Abe Arbach, um, and uh, here in the shul we welcome in Berish Gesemin and Gralia Engel, Reb Kramer, Rich Leonard, and Ruben Shannett. Reb Elia Yaffe has just joined us. Uh, and uh, we learned, sponsored by A.B. Spry, for the safety of the soldiers, and this is Ben Yuta, by Shimon Klein, Lina Nishma, Sasha Ancha Ben Yuta, Gittel by Shimon Pinchas, by Irving Fishbaum for uh, his, his own Gesund, is Ben Rezel also, for Avigdor Ayyub and Rivka, Meir Ben Chayesar, and we learned for Yitzi, you should have a complete Rafua, Yitzchak Mardechai Ben Esther Bracha, and uh, for everybody's Gesund, we are holding on the bottom line of Dafnun Beis Amit Beis, bottom line of Dafnun Beis Amit Beis. So we learned in the Mishnah that nuffle of fun of Mikala Kri, if somebody is digging in the bar and the shore falls uh, frontward, then he's Chayiv. If he falls backwards, then he's Potter. And now the Gemara interprets what this means. It's not so clear what this means as we welcome in Michal. Amarav lefanov lefanov mamish. Lefanov means that he falls forwards, and achrav achrav mamish. It means that he falls backwards. Vezeb vezeb bar, and both are talking about in the bar. And the idea is is that rav, if you remember, rav holds that you only chayiv for havla for the foul ear. So if the animal falls forward, so his head rushes into the foul ear, so then he, he died because of the foul ear, then the owner is chayev. If he fell backward, so he only died because of the bang on the bottom, and the bang on the bottom is on the ground of the Rosh Hashanah For that, he's not chayev. He's not chayev for the havla because his head is up and it didn't fall into the dank ear of the bar. So Rav Tamei, the Amar Rav Bar Shechayv of Torah, the bar that the Torah is Chayv, you for, is Lahav Loi V'loi L'chavotai, for the uh, dank foul ear, and not for the bang. The Shmuel Amar Shmuel says no. The bar Bein M'lefan of Bein L'ma'achar of Chayv. You're Chayv whether the shark fell forward or backward, if he fell into the pit, Yochai, because remember, Shmuel holds Yochai even for the Chavot, even for the bank. Uh, both Chayiv, Chayiv, because Shmuel at Tamei, Dama Lahavla, Yochai for the Dank Ear, Vakol Shechein Lechavot. So, what does the Mishnah mean when it says that if the animal falls, Lachurav, that it, it, it's Potter? Elahechi Dami Lachurav Mikala Kriya, that if it fell backwards, Mikala Kriya, from the sound of the digging, the Potter. Kigain the nisko babar, it tripped on the bar, vinachva la achure abar chutzlabar, and it fell afterwards uh, and on the ground after the bar. And there, that even Shmuel agrees that he's not chayev because he, he, the animal didn't hurt himself inside the person's bar. Eisrei, so the Gemara asks, we learned in a brisa. Bibar bain la fun of bain la achrav, whether it falls forward or backward, chayiv. So you see, even if it falls backward, you're chayiv. To yufta the rav, that would be a refutation of rav. Am rav chista may the rav bibar berishusai. Oh no, that's talking about where Marshall was dug a bar on his own property, and he was mafker the area around the bar and not the bar. There, even Rav agrees that he's Kai for the Chavata because the ground is Marshall's ground. It's in his property. And that's what the Gemara tells us. We should know that Marshall was involved over here. Mishim Damele, Babaru Shusa, the Chai, even according to Shmuel. Mishim Damele, Mamanavshach. If it fell forward, then Iba Havla Mase. If it fell because of the foul ear, Havla Didachu. It's Marshall's foul ear. And Ibe Chavata Mais, and if it died from the bang, Chavata Didachu, it's also Marshall's bang because it was on Marshall's property. Rabbah Amar Rabbah says, 
where the animal, where do we say that even if it fell on its back, it's chayiv? That's been mishafek, where it turned mid-air, mid-air, mid-flight, it flipped around. The nafala ape, it fell on its face, and then mishafek, and flipped around inside the bar, the nafala gabe, and then fell on its back, the havla, the hani bay, a hani bay, because since while it was falling forward, it had the rush of the dank foul air, that was enough for Marshall to be chayim. Rav Yosef Amahacha Beniske Bar Bishar Askina. No, this Bryce is talking about a whole different other story. It's talking about where it's Mel's ox that came into Marshall's property without permission, and the ox because it was foul, ruined Marshall's drinking water. It fell into Marshall's well and ruined his drinking water. Oh, so that's a whole other problem. As the Gemara says, uh, Rav Yosef says, It's talking about the damage to the well by Mel Shar. Mainia, what is that? Shehivish es meimav. It dirtied the water. The Loishna Lafara makes a difference if it falls forward. The Loishna Lachrav Mechayev, because it dirtied the water. Tony Rav Kananya Lissiule Lerav. Rav Kananya teaches a Brisa as a proof to Rav. Vinofal, it says in the Pasik, Vinofal Shama, Achi Yipo Derech Nefila. Only if it falls by the way of falling. Mikanam are not for the fun of Mikalakri if it fell forward from the digging Chayev. Lachurv, if it fell backward, Mikalakri a potter, Vizev is Ebabar. So that's a raya that you're only Chayev for the Havla and not for the Chavata. Okay, now we're going to start getting into uh, what about the guy that was digging in there? And by the way, if you want to know, uh, I looked it up. It was Mark that was in the bar digging. I looked, I looked it up. Who was, by the way, he has been relegated to the basement again, uh, you know, in his house. Uh, the, uh, they're playing Marjan upstairs. Now, uh, the <laughs> hello there, how are you? It's good to see you. Are you keeping, are you keeping Zadie company? Yeah. Good, he needs it, he needs it, good. When you're around, he's always smiling. Um, anyway, uh, says the Gemara, let's see it inside, Omar Ma, Omar Ma, Nofal the fun of Mikola Kriya Chay, if the animal falls forward from the bang Chay, says the Gemara, but why, why, Marshall says, what do you mean? It's because Mark was banging that it fell forward. Don't go away, Marshall. <laughs> now he goes away. <laughs> the, yeah, okay. He says the Gemara, Amamar, not for the fun of Mikola Kriya, if uh, Mel's ox falls forward from the noise of the banging, Chayev. Marshall, the owner of the bar, is Chayev. Says the Gemara, Vamai. Name a Kaira Garamle. Let's say that Mark who was banging caused it. Says the Gemara Amr of Shimi Ba Ashi Homani Rabnosani. You see the the uh, the thing is that the one who's banging is only a Gairam. So you can't collect from the Gairam. It's only causative. Now the question is. Could we collect from Marshall that which we don't collect from Mark? So the Gemara says, Reb Nasenhi, Damar Bala Bar of it. The owner of the bar, he caused the damage because uh, Mel's animal fell in and hurt himself. Where we can't collect from Mark, and the reason over here why we can't collect from Mark is because Mark is causative, right? Because uh, the, the, the... So therefore, we collect everything from Marsh. Um, 
וכל איך הוא דולה אפשר לשתלום מהי משתלם מהי. דתניה, נהיה איזה נודר קייס. שור שדוחח את חברי לבור. If uh, Mark's shar pushes Mel's shar into Marshall's bar. So in that case, Bala shar chayiv, Mark is chayiv, Bala bar pot. Could you imagine that there's some opinion that Marshall is potter? Right? So, so Mark's shar, it doesn't even make sense. Mark shar pushes Mel shar into Marshall's bar, so Marshall is off the hook. Reb Nossin, I mean, Reb Nossin says, Bala shar mishalim machza. Mark pays half, or Bala shar, Bala bar mishalim machza. So the Gemara says, wait a second, I'm confused. You say Reb Nossin says half and half? Vatani Reb Nossin, I'm a bala bar mishalim gimel chalakim. The owner of the bar pays three quarters. O bala shor revia. And the owner of the shor pays only a quarter. So Gemara says that's nothing, that's no problem. See, really what happened over here is, is that Marshall and Mark are uh, colleagues in the crime, are partners in the crime. So therefore, in the event that Mark Shar is a muid, so it would have, if it would have done it alone, it would be Chayv and Ezek Shalom, so he pays half, and Marshall pays half. On the other hand, if, uh, if Mark Shar is a Tam, so if he would have done it alone, he would pay half. So now that he has a partner, he pays a quarter. And Reb Nassim holds whatever, uh, whatever you can't collect from Mark, you collect from Marshall since we found the dead corpse in Marshall's bar. So there, that's the simple explanation. Like Kasha Hobba Tam Hobba Muad. If Mark Shaw was a Tam, so normally it would pay half. Now that he has a partner, it pays a quarter. And Marshall has to pay the three quarters. Uh, if it's a muid, so he would have to pay the whole, and Marshall have to pay the whole, so they pay half and half. Says Gemara, but I don't understand. What's the logic by the tam? Well, but tam my kesaver, e kesaver, hai kule zeka ovid, vai kule zeka ovid. Each one did the whole damage. So then, uh, Mark should pay half. Because his whole damage is a time is half. And Marshall should pay half. Hi, Michelle and Pilgrim. Hi, Michelle and Pilgrim. The Ika Savar, hi, Pilgrim, as they call it. Hi, Pilgrim, as they call it. That Mark did half and Marshall did half. So then Balabar should pay half. Michelle and Pilgrim. Or Balashar and Mark, who uh, has to pay half of a time, that's half of a half, he should pay a revia. And the Edech River and the other quarter, Mel should lose out. The Edech River maps it. Mel should lose out. So now the Gemara um, reconciles this two different ways. Amar of Rava, Reb Nossin Dainu. Reb Nossin was a, a, a Dain. Vinochis Lumka Dedina. And he always plummeted the depth of the Din. Loilam Kesavar Haikula Zekov, it was Haikula Zekov. So, I, if that's the case, then Mark should pay half, even if it's a tam, he should pay half, the whole thing as a tam, and Marshall should pay half. No, Mark is smarter than that. Mark said, Yeah, I would have to pay half, but I have a partner. Mark tells Marshall, Should Fasoy Maya Hanyali, what would our partnership help me? So our partnership helps me that instead of playing a half, I pay a quarter. Now you would have had to pay the whole thing. The partnership helps you that you only have to pay three quarters. Ibayasema. Or else the Gemara gives another answer over here. Ibayasema. Rich, could I trouble you? 
to just rinse this out and bring me some cold water. I should tell you while we're waiting for Rich, as we're five lines into the wide lines on uh, Daf Nun Gimel of an Aleph, and by the way, for those that are not aware, uh, we did do a chok last night, the fourth day of Mishpatim, and uh, it is available. Mark, it was great to have you for a chok. It's been a long time since you intended a live chok. I know, it was perfect. And it was it was a nice one. It really was a nice one. Um, uh, anyway, um, maybe I should hang out in the basement more often. Yeah. Um, but Hatadi Nailahim Shah called me a bit by What's up for that dank air down there, Mark? Now E by you saying, Mark. Again, explaining why, if it's a tam, uh, Mark only has to pay a quarter, and Marshall pays three quarters. Iba you say maloylam kasavar hai palge zekavit vai palge zekavit. So okay, so that's why Marshall has to pay only a quarter. I mean, that's why Mark has to pay only a quarter, because since his show was a tam, he would have had to pay half. Now he does half, so he pays a quarter. Uh, but we had a question, so then Marshall should only pay half, and the other quarter, uh, Mel should lose out. Why does Marshall have to pay three quarters, besides the fact that he's Marshall? The uh, Marshall should pay half, Marshall should pay a quarter, and the other quarter, Mel should lose out. Because M Mel tells Marshall, look, the corpse of my animal is in your bar. My shar is in your bar. At Katlase, your bar killed it. My If I could get something from somewhere else, I'll do you a favor, Mishtalimna. But my Leslie Lish but what I can't get from someone else, I'm gonna get them from you. Because my show was found dead in your bar. Mishtalimna Mimcha, I'm gonna get from you. Now, new case. Amarava. Haniach Evan Alpia Bar. Mark, who is up to trouble in the basement, that's why he's in the basement. Uh, so if Mark put a rack on the mouth of Marshall's bar. A bar shar veniskel bar, and a shar came tripped on it, venafel be bar. So bonu the machloikis, Rav Nassim Rabbanan. That comes to the machloikis of Rav Nassim and Rabbanan. Remember, the Rabbanan say that, excuse me, that a shah that pushed its friend into the bar, the balashar is chayiv and the balabar is potter. So therefore, according to Rabban and Mark is going to be potter. Excuse me, Marshall is going to be potter because the stone caused the, the ox to fall into the bar. While according to Rab Nassim, they're both chayiv. Says Gemara Pshita, that's obvious. So Gemara says no. Mao the same a hosim who dama balabar la balashar. Over there, the balabar says to the balashar, "Ilav bira didi. If not for my bar, turidi dach avikatale." In other words, according to Rabbanan, Marshall says uh, to Mark, "If my bar wouldn't have been there, your axe gored uh, Mel's axe." If my bar wouldn't have been there, your axe would have killed the, the axe, notwithstanding that there was a bar there. But here Mark tells Marshall, If it wouldn't be for your pit, what would have my stone done? The, the stone caused him to plummet down only because you have a bar there. How could you get off the hook? 
he have a miskel, but have enough, have enough of the koi. If he would have tripped on the rock, he would have tripped and got right back up. So you can't say that you're free from any liability. Kamash Malan, therefore, Marshall told him, that he could tell him, to Amalei, he love Evan, they have enough of the bira. No, we're talking about an intelligent shar. And an intelligent shar, if the rock wasn't there, he wouldn't have fell into the bar. He would have gone around the bar. Remember we said if it's an intelligent shar, the shar would have gone around the bar. So now we're going to talk about a new case. Itmar, as we turn to Nun Gimel Amid Beis, Shar v'shar p'sulei ha-mekdashim shenok. Here, um, here, a uh, Mark Shar and Shalom Shar Gord Mel Shar. Now, what does it mean a Shar of Psulei uh, Makdashim? Yitz has a, a Bechar that had a blemish. So that's Psulei Makdashim. And the din is that such a Shar is not higher for its damages. Because uh, it says Shareyeyu and not a Shar of Psulei Makdashim. So again, Shar Vishar Psulei Makdashim Shenaku, my new Shar Bechar Dulei Paraklei, it's a Shar Bechar that wasn't redeemed. Abaya Amar, Abaya says, so Mark has to pay a Chatzin Ezek. Ravina Amar Mishalim Ravian Ezek, a quarter. Now, the simple explanation is, is that uh, the, the, the opinion that says he has to pay a chatzin ezek is talking about where Mark Shar is a muad. So normally he would pay an ezek shalom, but since it has a partner, the Shar Psulei Mikdashim, he pays a chatzin ezek. Ravina says it pays a ravian ezek, it's talking about a tam. So normally he would pay a chatzin ezek, now it says a ravian ezek. Hob it, hob, hob, ah. So the Gemara said that would be one way of reconciling it. But another way of recon reconciling it is, is the question of whether we make Mark pay that which the other person cannot pay. Reb Nassim says whatever the other person can't pay, Mark has to pay. So since the, sh the sharp Sulei Mikdashim can't pay its part, so Mark has to pay his part. So according to Reb Nassim, if it's a tam, Mark has to pay Chatzin Ezek. According to the Rabbanan, that Mark only has to pay his part, so since it's a tam, he pays his half, which is a revia. And that's the Gemara's Abaya's explanation. Uh, I, I mean, excuse me, that's the Gemara's first explanation, that Abaya and Ravina are not arguing, but Hova Hova Tam, both are talking about where Mark Shaw was a tam. And in the best, it would pay a chatzin ezek. Hoka Rabbanon. One is going according to Rabbanon. Ravina is going according to Rabbanon. The Mark only has to pay his part. So he has a partner. So normally, it's a time you pay a chatzin ezek. Because he has a partner, he pays a revia. The uh, Hoka Rabbanon. Rabbanon says, whatever you can't get from the partner, you take from Mark. So therefore, since you can't get a revia from the other shar, so you take the full amount that Mark is supposed to pay from Mark, and therefore he pays the chatzin ezek. Or ibayis ema hava kerabon. Both are going according to rabbon that Mark only has to pay his part. However, Mark only has to pay his part. As we welcome in Mo Kushner and. Uh, Who's that? I think it's Harrison Kletzel. Harrison Kletzel. Um, and and Mo and, and Harrison Kletzel, we are holding on Daf Nun Gimel Amid Beis, and we're holding by Ibayis Ema, which is five lines from the top. Ibayis Ema, Hava HaKarabana, Hava if Mark's Shar is a Tam, so normally he would pay Chatzi, because he has a partner, the Shar that was a Bechar, he only pays in a quarter. Haba Muid, so normally he would pay in Ezek Shom, because he has a partner, he has a Chatzi Nezek. Ikad Amrei, there's another version, Abai Amar Chatzi Nezek, Ravina Amar Kulei Nezek. Oh. Abai says half damage, 
Ravina says full damage. Now, what, what do you want from Mark that he has to pay full damages? Says the Gemara, Hava Hava Muid. It's talking about where the animal is a Muid. So, uh, normally Mark's animal would pay Nezik Shalom. But since it has a partner, according to the Rabbanan, he only pays the Chatsi Nezik. According to the Nasan, whatever you can't get from the other one, he has to pay, then he has to pay the amount, full amount. Hoka Rabbanan, Vaka Rabbanan. Ibai is saying, Hava Ha Kurebi Nasan. That whatever you can't get from the other one, you take from Mark. And Hava Muad, Hava Tam. If it was a Muad, so you take a Nezek Shalom for Mark. If it was a Tam, you take a Chatsi Nezek. Now, the plot thickens as we're going to welcome in Dr. Block. Uh, Welcome, Dr. Block, uh, our sponsor for last night's Chok. Dr. Block had the uh, uh, pleasure of sponsoring. That has to be the steal of a century. A Chok for $100. Uh, the, 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 the Chok, I have to say that it's, it's every time I do a Chok, I'm amazed at what... what, what what an amazing thing it is that the Chida, that the Arizal and the Chida thought that this could be done by a working man. It's really, it's really, the, the Chak is just an absolutely amazing discipline. Um, What's amazing, Rebbe, is the way you do it. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I put a lot of work into it. Um, uh, the, uh, so now, now the plot thickens. And now we're going to talk about where there are three uh, troublemakers. So... I have competition? Yeah, I mean, you're the king, but... Uh, the, so it's Marshall's bar. And it's Mark's sure. And Dr. Black is the last man here, so... So what happened is, let's see it inside. Amarava. Shar v'odam shedachfu labar. Here we have Mark Shar and Dr. Plak that pushes Mel Shar into Marshall's bar. Something stay the same. Marshall is in the pits. Right? So it's Marshall's bar. It's Mark Shar. And Dr. Black, Mark Shar and Dr. Black push Mel Shar into Marshall's bar. So Le'inyan when it comes to damages, Kulan Chayav, all three of these hoodlums are Chayiv. Dr. Black is Chayiv, uh, Mark is Chayiv, and Marshall, all three are Chayiv. Le'inyan Arba Devarim, oh, for the, if, let's say, what they pushed into the bar was chatzkel. So if they pushed chatzkel into the bar, so now they also have to pay tsar, ripu, sheves, and vajas. Ah, but that only Dr. Black has to pay. Because a bar and a shar is not chayiv in dalad var. So linyan abed varim, udamei vladais, and also for a fetus, for a miscarriage, it says, Kiyonotsu anoshim yaktav, only men are chayev for the Vladas. So Adam chayev, only Dr. Black is chayev, Bisharu bar pot, Mark and Marshall are pot. Linian kaifer or shleishim shalevet, if it, was, it killed a person or it killed a slave. So killing a, a person, a muid, that has to pay the ransom. Or uh, killing an Evid with his a knas of 30, that's only Mark, because the, the payment of Kaifer and the payment of 30 is only for the Balashar. Shar Chayiv, Adam Abar Pturim. Dr. Black and the Bar are part. Linian Kalim, when it comes to utensils, let's say it was China. Vishar Psulea Mikdashim, 
And if it was a shar of disqualified kachim, which remember we said that if it dies, you can't, it, the corpse is worthless because you can't redeem it to sell it to the, to, for dog food or to sell it to a guy. So uh, we know Kalim, China, a bar is part of because it says, Sharvalay Adam Kamarvalay Kalim. And we know that a bar is potter for Psulay uh, Mikdashim because it says, my Macy Eli, only an animal that he could benefit from the corpse. So there, Adam Vishar Chayavim, there, Dr. Black and the owner of the Shar, Marcus Chay, but a bar potter. So the Gemara says, my timer, what, 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 what's this Psulay Mikdashim that Marshall is potter? Because the Pasuk says, and the corpse that fell into the bar has to be his. And that's not the case if it's Pesulei Mikdashim, because he can't benefit from the mates. Says the Gemara, is that the drasha from Amesi Eloi? Sharp Sule Amikdashim Shinafalu Labar, a sharp Sule Amikdashim that fell into a bar mouth. Hai Vamesi Eloi, is it coming to tell me, Vamesi Amesi Eloi, only if he could benefit from the corpse? Yotzezer, that excludes Sule Amikdashim because he can't benefit from the corpse. Shein Amesi Eloi. Oidum Amesi Eloi tells us what we learned in the first parak, that don't think that uh, the, the, uh, don't think that you could tell the mazik, here's the corpse, and you take care of the corpse, and you give me a, a whole animal. But we dash my mace here, the It comes to tell me that the owner has to busy himself with the nevela. And we don't say that the mazik has to take care of the corpse. So, Basa the boy, you had the pashta. Says, you want to know, after Robert Claire de Shaila, he resolved that Ramesi Eloi comes to tell me that, uh, that uh, it, it, if, if it's Psulei Mikdashim, it's pot. Says Gemara, then Ela Balam, it tapam benavela minale, minafkele, hamesi Eloi de Shar. We learn it out from the fact that it says Ramesi Eloi by Shar, that just like where Shar damages a sh- another Shar, the Mazik doesn't have to take care of the corpse. The uh, owner has to take care of the corpse. The same thing is true when it falls into the bar. So it says to him, my cause is the Vamesi Eloi de Shar. Map Gislei the Balam and Tapam Levela. Teaches you that the owner has to trouble himself in the Nevela. Vamesi Eloi de Bar comes to tell me to exempt Sharp Sulei Mikdashim. Map Gislei the Misha Mesh Eloi to exclude Sulei the Mikdashim. Eipachana. Why don't I switch it around? And say that if Shar goes a Shar Shab Sule Mikdashim, it's Potter. Says, you want to stop Raptur Gabe Bar? Why? Because by Bar we find already a leniency that the Bar is exempt from the damages of Caleb. How you love Potter by Esa Caleb? So the Gemara says, well, Adarabba. Ptur Gabe Shar, we should say that the Ptur is by Shar because we find that a Tam only pays a Chatzin Ezek. She came potter by Chatzi Nezek. Says, Gimar, yeah, but Kule Nezek mi Eloi Ashkan. We don't find by Shar that there's an exoneration from all damages. But by Bar, we find an exoneration that if utensils fall into Bar, you're not high for utensils. So therefore, it's likely that Vamesi Eloi also tells me that if a Shar of Suley Mikdashim falls into a Bar, you're potter. Now the Mishnah says, mm-hmm. if it falls inside an axe with its equipment and it gets damaged, you're part of from the equipment. Says the Gemara, Masnis in the Lake Rabbi Yehuda. Our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda holds if China falls into a bar, you're chayiv to pay for the China. The Tanya Rabbi Yehuda, mechayiv al niske kelem bar. So what's the source of this argument? Why do Rabbanan say you're part of a kelem? And Rabbi Yehuda says, you're chayim. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara. My time in the Rabbana. So this is a drush of famous all over Shabbos. 
The Amakra Vinafal Shama Shar Aichamar, it falls into the pit an axe or a donkey, Shar Adam, that if a man falls in and dies, your potter, Chamar Veloy a donkey and not utensils. Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda says, yeah, but it says, Shar O Chamar, I comes to include Kalim. Rabbi Yudha, I, the rabbi, says a Kalim. Rabbanon, as we turn to Nundala Raman Aleph, Rabbanon, I, mi baile lechalek. If it wouldn't say I, I might think the only time you're chayiv is if both a axe and a donkey falls in. But if one or the other, I might think you're not chayiv, that's why it has to say I. Rabbi Yudha, lechalek, mi venofal nafka. No, because it says nafal in the singular. So you know that it's talking about uh, one, because otherwise it would say naflu. Rabbana, no, the nafal tuva mashma. Sometimes the nafal could be referring to a set, and it's the set of a shar and a chamar. And therefore, on was needed lechalik. And therefore, that's why it has to say oi, and therefore oi is not extra to include utensils. Rather, we learn out that utensils are exempted because it says chamar and not kalim. Rabbi say a real pleasure. Again, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, I, I will be, uh, 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 excuse me, I did the Mishnah Yomis already because I, as you see, I'm dressed up for Sheva Brachas. I am giving the Sheva Brachas. I am paying for it with my brothers. So I want to run back there and participate more.